let me just make him have a lot more health so we can kill the zerglings off. Uh, stats life, where's stats life? Stats life is up here. 800. Alright, we got a killer zealot now. That's good. And so, let's see. We have everything now except any items. So, I'm going to start out under buttons, I think. Buttons is probably the easiest place to start. So, let's add an object. Let's call this a uh, sword. Um, because my mind's still in fantasy world. I haven't adapted to StarCraft 2 yet. Um, let's make an icon. Let's choose... Uh, I don't know, one of the upgrade icons is probably going to be good. Well, it's kind of slow. Upgrade, let's see. Okay, there we go. Uh, scroll down, let's see. Ground weapons. There we go, that looks like a sword. Looks like the zealot weapon, actually. But anyways, and tooltip. Um, let's just call it a crappy sword. Yeah, it's pretty descriptive. Um, and let's copy paste that and let's rename this to leather armor suggest press ok a crappy armor alright and let's change the icon uh, let's see it doesn't really look like leather armor that kind of looks like leather armor with gold on it but maybe our zealot's a rich guy um, so we got that and let's make a general item let's make a uh, oops let's right click and add a new button and let's call this uh, let's see zergling venom it'll just be like a random thing that you pick up and let's call uh, let's see icon I'm um, not sure what icon to use for this. I'll probably just search for BTN and then see what it gives us. Uh, okay, that's going to work for now. And tooltip, uh, the venom, oops, the venom of a zergling. Press OK and let's save. And I'm going to tint it by race. Okay, so we got three buttons ready for items, and now why don't we go to uh, items? And there's no there's no items here yet, so we'll have to add object. Can't duplicate like we can with units. Um, so let's call this sword. Click suggest, and item type uh, generic. Okay, so it's not going to carry any behaviors. It will be carrying a weapon. I mean, it will be equipping a weapon, not carrying a weapon. Uh, its class will be weapon, and its container, no, don't want any of that yet. Uh, face, oh nice, it picked out the button for us already, that's pretty good. And it's droppable, yep. Yeah. Uh, level zero, requirements none, so let's save. And why don't I make the weapon quickly, um, or actually I have a better idea, why don't, um, because this isn't a weapon tutorial, uh, you can figure out how to make weapons on your own. Why don't I remove the Zealot's weapon and make it only come on when he picks up the item. So in my modified Zealot, let's remove side blades. X that, okay. And then go back to items. And get rid of the search. Okay, let's see. And find equip weapons. And let's add the Zealot side blades in there. There we go. So now he'll get that. And uh, let's copy paste and change this to armor. Or what did I call it? Leather armor. Let's see if it finds the button. Uh, oh, wait, I copy pasted. Never mind. Damn. Uh, so this is of class armor. Um, it's not going to equip any weapons. Uh, it will be equipping a behavior, which I'll make in a second. And the face of it is going to be L leather, leather armor. Good. And the rest is good. Let's save and let's go to behaviors. And let's add a new object. Let's call this leather armor. Um, let's just call it leather armor. That's good. And let's leave it at buff behavior type. And let's make it positive alignment. Get rid of countdown. I 
I think that matters. I'm not totally sure. Double click modification. And let's see, come on, modification, come on. All right, click on the unit tab and change life armor bonus to three. So you can see we get three armor. Uh, I think the rest is pretty much good. Let me see any flags we need hidden. Yeah, we want hidden. So they don't know that they have this, that it's a secret buff, not an actual, not an actual thing coming from the item. Well, it is an actual thing coming from the item, just so they don't know about it though. Um, and I think that's basically all we need here. I guess I'll find out later if it bugs out. So let's go back to items and find our leather armor and change equip behaviors. Press the green X and let's add L leather armor. Press OK. Good. And let's copy paste leather armor and let's name this one um, Zergling Venom. I believe that's what I called it. Yes, it's exactly what I called it. So let's set the face. Let's change the class to MISC. And let's get rid of its behaviors. This is going to have nothing, basically. It's just going to be like a random little item. Um, and now let's go to units. So we got all our items made, but now we need a unit for them. Otherwise, we can't place them in the map. So um, let's add an object. Let's call this sword suggest and let's change it to be based on uh, item and press oh an object type make it item as well press ok good and uh, let's see the only really important thing here is uh, well I don't know why it's a zerg but the only really important thing is stats item and oh it found sword again that's pretty nice and I, th and I think uh, the flag of the unit dash flags of pawnable is what we want to. And then because we made it pawnable, you want to set the uh, repair resource. Where is that? This is how much it'll actually sell for, I believe. So if we make make it ten, there we go. Let's save. So it should sell for ten minerals. And let's copy paste the uh, yeah. Let's copy paste the sword item. And let's call this leather armor. Okay, suggest leave everything the rest. And it's gonna sell for ten as well. Um, oh, I got the description from the item. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's change this item to L leather armor. Okay, and let's copy paste one more. And let's call this zergling venom. Press OK, and um, all we need to do is change the item to Zergling Venom. I'll leave the cost of 10 for this one as well, it doesn't really matter. Sorry, I had to pause for a sec. Um, let's open Actors here, and let's right click, and add object, and we want um, to name this sword, I guess. And let's see. It's going to be a unit type based on, I think generic unit base is good for this. Uh, and press OK. OK. And let's change unit name to be S. And look for a sword. Sword unknown for some reason. I don't know why it's called sword unknown. That is weird. Anyways, uh, back to actors. Okay, we got our sword, and we need to set the art model. I'm just gonna use um. I'm just gonna use crate. Uh, where is it for basically all my items? I can't. There's not really any good item models to be using at this time. Oh my god, where's crate? I missed it now. There you go, crate. And yeah, that'll pretty much work. 